Hi, it's Mark Clark with Police Magazine and PoliceMag.com. We're here at the 2012 SHOT Show at the Police Magazine booth, and we have found a Safari Land bike officer, Troy Gellish, and he's going to talk to us about the new Safari Land police bike built from the ground up for police officers. Tell us what you guys are into now. we Will do. We uh, partnered with uh, Kona Bicycles. They've been making mountain bikes for 24 years, reputable company, and we developed the bike specifically made for law enforcement. So we start from the ground up, I'm gonna refer back down to the bike here. We got 29 inch wheels. 29 inch wheels allow you to roll over obstacles a little easier, curbs and uh, stairs and such, okay? Working our way up, we've got an adjustable shock. You can actually lock it out. So if you want to uh, ride on cement versus uh, other terrain, you can adjust your shock for that. We have a 30-speed Shimano drivetrain, uh, which is uh, one of the top on the market right now. We have hydraulic disc brakes, and it uh, gives you additional stopping power for when you're carrying a heavy load. Going to our frame here, we designed a special frame that actually integrates the rear rack. One of the common problems with police bikes is that when you bolt a rack on it, it affects the structure of the frame. Uh, this actually enhances it and makes it stronger. And it's also a stable platform when you got to put it onto a bike rack. It's a nice, stable surface. The rack also provides additional protection to the back wheel in case you're working protest demonstrations, things like that. We have a uh, top tube design here that's sloped down. Not every officer has a bike, so we understand that different officers will have to share a bike. So having this sloped top tube accommodates different size riders. And the other benefit is that, is that you know, when you're riding, you're not always uh, moving. Sometimes you gotta sit still, you gotta work a fixed post. And I can demonstrate, I'm gonna step over the bike here. You step over here in this flat, flat top tube allows you to sit on it and sit comfortably. So if you got to work a fixed post for a long period of time, you're comfortable. There's an optional pad here, I'll show you, that we can actually stick on the top tube there to give you additional comfort if you want to purchase that. If I can talk about our, our pack here for a minute too, we actually designed a special pack for it. Uh, front pocket's got a CPR mask, or you can get a uh, quick clock kit in there for you got to do emergency medical services. It's got individual pockets inside, so you can put your personal items in there, cell phones, they're not gonna bounce around. It has a hidden compartment underneath, so you can put your items underneath. Someone opens a bag, they're not gonna see your wallet, your cell phone, or if you gotta put some evidence in there, you're not gonna contaminate your personal items. Uh, it's got retro-reflective uh, decaling on the side of it. And last thing that's really important is that one of the problems we've seen with police bikes in the past is that kickstands. You bolt them on, they come loose, they damage the frame. We've actually integrated the kickstand so that the mount is actually integrated in the frame. So it makes it a lot stronger uh, for use because we use our kickstands quite a bit. So Troy, did you have anything to do with this bike getting put together? It looks like it's pretty much uh, everything the uh, bike police officer would want. Yeah, I, um, I'm passionate about this. I've been working bikes for a long time. I worked in the bike industry before law enforcement. Uh, I work closely with Kona and Safari Land, and we're very specific about what we wanted to be specific for the officer. This is not a bike to go uh, that the average consumer is going to go race. This is a bike that someone's going to be comfortable on moving or sitting still. Uh, most agencies have bikes, but the bikes are sitting in some closet somewhere. No one's riding. You get a bike like this, people are going to want to ride. And when can we see this on the market? They're going to be due out for distribution in May. Great. Well, thank you. I appreciate you talking with us today. Okay. And uh, good luck with the show, and hopefully we'll see these around the neighborhoods and uh, our uh, communities for the bike officers. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. I'm Mark Clark with Police Magazine and PoliceMag.com from the SHOT Show 2012.